We use it to additize fuel to reach specifications of JP8, whether it be JP20 or F24 or F34 or whatever else it may be, all right? To meet our specifications, whether it be for storage or for implementation, all right? So I'm gonna have you guys moving around with me as I show and walk through the dry runs for you. We're gonna start on this side over here with the fizzy side. It's bigger, it's easier for everyone else to see. So let me have you guys move over this way. Check all your gaskets, make sure the glass isn't cracked, make sure your strainers are clean. Once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and we'll move the tanks and we'll start filling them up. Tanks remove as easy as this. Pull this, disconnect here. And then this slides out, tilts back, slides out. Fizzy has four tabs, two on this side, two on this side. You can disconnect, and this one just comes straight up. It sits right in this little cutout right here, so it's easy to know where that goes. They don't have to be on snug, it doesn't have to be on tight, just so that it's not falling off, right? All right, from there, go ahead and open our air vent. You can go ahead and open the tank. If not, it's your first time priming the lines. You're gonna hook up your suction or your hose. You're gonna put it on the vacuum side of the pump and start expressing. As you're expressing, these are empty, so you're not gonna see it right now. But as you're expressing, you will you will eventually start seeing fluids start bubbling in. You can go ahead and remove this and just watch until the fluids get to zero. Once they get to zero, go ahead and just close this. We'll go through with all these lines closed. So you come back and close all these two. You'll go through, you'll turn the, or open up the pump line, double check to make sure this is set to bleed, and then you'll rehook up the hose. It doesn't have to be a heavy stream. It doesn't need to be like a thin stream. Whatever stream comes out, as long as it's smooth and steady. If you still see it dribbling, then your lines still aren't fully primed, right? You take your pump and you put the pump away. We're gonna set our three-way to inject. You can leave the bottle on, you can take the bottle off. Your call doesn't really matter. Once we're done with that, we'll move on to calibration. So when we get to our calibration, the steps are pretty similar, right? Same valves, same order, same direction. But if you guys remember, from calibration, we don't calibrate it from the tank, we calibrate it from the sight glass. Once that gets back to zero, you'll close all these lines again and open up the lines into the pump. If you remember yesterday, our, our lines are gonna be fully packed. You're gonna have a meter downstream of your flow and it's gonna be reset to zero. You're gonna start your flow of fuel with this at 60. Once that's done, you can go ahead and shut off the pump and you're gonna check your readings to see where you were, if you went past it or if you didn't go far enough. So say like, we just filled the tank up to 10 gallons. We only needed to put like three gallons in. On the side of here is a sight, is a sight tube. So we started at 10, I need to put three in there. I'm gonna slide this little O-ring right here up to seven. So then now I know once my fuel level gets to seven, I should be where I needed to on additizing my fuel. And I can go ahead and just cut off fizzy all together if everything else still needs to continue advertising. So, upon completion of all the additives coming out that we needed to come out, we need to stop operations and then flush the system. And it's on the fizzy side. Right here, the three-way for prime. You're gonna make sure that's set to prime up to the sight glass. You're gonna open up the air vent for the sight glass so that it slowly fills into here. It doesn't need to get full, you just need to start seeing the fuel back flowing into here. Once that's done, 
You're just going to close that sight glass and you have flushed the part of the system that you need to do in order to move it. You'll still have fuel in your lines. You can run that back into your system doing the same method that you use for additizing, but you won't get 100% out and that's fine. It gets the majority of it out. The only way to get 100% out is to actually disconnect parts and drain it out manually. Wow. The hardest part is coming up. And it's going to attach itself to the water molecules. And once it settles for two minutes, uh, hopefully all of the water should be sitting at the very bottom. And then when you open the nozzle, only water comes out. In there, you take the fuel. Well, it really is just going to be water. You set it on there. You press go. It's going to give you your, your fizzy read. It spreads throughout all of it. And you look towards the light. You get a few drops of water. It's crazy when this one actually works. It's so easy to get the water. Then you take that. So we are at 0 0.013. 0 0.013. Yes, it passed. So you would record that. Simple enough. Anybody want to do it? Five gallons. Starting your vet. You wanted five gallons in here, right? No. Three and a half. Three. This gloves only one use. This gloves only one use. They're the new ones. Just hold it. One hand. It's a water bottle, the one that's empty. We are the idiots.